Hello everyone and welcome back to Chemarkum. Today we are going to explore the term general rearrangement and solve some interesting problem associated with it. So grab your notebook and let's get started. First, let's understand what the term general rearrangement is all about. This rearrangement named after Russian chemist term general. According to this aliphatic primary amine, when you treat under nitrous acid, that rearranges into provide corresponding alcohol derivative. So this rearrangement reaction takes place by deamination of primary amine by disertation when you treat the nitrous acid to give the rearranged alcohol. Along with the rearranged alcohol, sometimes minor amount of unrearranged alcohol derivatives also occurred. So this rearrangement reaction can be applied to prepare the different cyclic compounds but mainly this rearrangement reaction is useful for to the preparation of 5 to 7 member ring system. And, and another important point is this rearrangement reaction can be used for both ring expansion as well as ring contraction protocols. So next we move on the source of acid. In order to conduct this rearrangement reaction, mostly nitrous acid is useful and sometimes people use sodium nitride in the presence of acetic acid. So that will generate in situ nitrous acid in order to pro uh, proceed this temgeno rearrangement. Now let's break down the mechanism behind the temgeno rearrangement. Initially two nitrous acid react together to form the reactive intermediate. Here you see how that reactive intermediates generated. So initially one of the nitrous acid readily protonated then followed by another nitrous acid here you see this electron shifted here this pi electron attacks this nitrogen center then followed by kick off the water molecule which generate uh, that corresponding reactive intermediate this reactive intermediate quickly react with this corresponding aliphatic amine here aliphatic amine is cyclobutane methanamine so this nitrogen has one pair of electrons this will attack this nitrogen center since this nitrogen center attached with two electron negative oxygen atom Therefore, this nitrogen center is slightly electron deficient. Therefore, this nitrogen lone pair of electron attacks here, then followed by kick off this portion of the molecule, which generate corresponding intermediate along with one nitrous acid. So this intermediate quickly tautomerizes to give this tautomeric form. Here you see how this happened. So this electron shifted here, then followed by this electron pick up that hydrogen atom, which leads to generate this tautomerized form. So after that, this will quickly protonated by acid. Here you see this hydroxy group readily protonated to give this protonated form. So now you see this nitrogen lone pair of electron shifted here, then followed by kick off this water molecule, which generate corresponding diazonium ion intermediate. So this diazonium ion is highly unstable, which quickly lost a nitrogen gas, which generate corresponding carbocation intermediate. So this carbocation intermediate probably dropped by water molecule which generate corresponding unrearranged cyclobutane methanol as a product. If rearrangement takes place, here you see how that rearrangement takes place. This carbon atom migrated here then followed by which generate corresponding cyclopentane carbocation. After generate this cyclopentane carbocation which readily react are trapped by water molecule. Here you see this oxygen has two lone pair of electron. One of the lone pair of electron attacks this carbocation center, which generate this corresponding intermediate, then followed by fall of the H plus ion, which lead to generate corresponding cyclopentanol as a product. In the previous slide, we seen that example for ring expansion. So here we are going to see the example for ring contraction. Let's take this example, cyclobutanamine. When you treat with nitrous acid, you will get two products. So one of the product is rearranged alcohol, another one is unrearranged alcohol. Let's see how it's formed. When you treat with nitrous acid with uh, this cyclobutanamine, you will get corresponding diazonium ion, which quickly lost here as a nitrogen gas, you will get corresponding carbocation. So if it uh, trap by water readily, you will get unrearranged alcohol as a product. In, other, in another way, this carbon atom is migrate towards to this carbocation center, you will get cyclopropyl methyl carbocation. So this one, uh, quite stable carbocation. So this one we can explain by frontier molecular orbital interaction. 
So the cyclopropane has valve type sigma orbital that's called HOMO. HOMO means highest occupied molecular orbital with a vacant P orbital at the carbocation center. So that's called LUMO. These two orbitals are arranged in the bisected conformation. That is the plane of carbocation exactly bisected the cyclopropane ring. So which is more effective because the carbocation P orbital can overlap very effectively. So therefore, this type of carbocations is more stable compared to the other type of carbocation. So this can be explained by resonance form also. Now you look this cyclopropyl methyl carbocation. When you, see, when you shift this uh, electron to here, you will get this form as well as when you shift this electrons here, you will get uh, this form. So in the, way, in the way we can explain the stability of cyclopropyl methyl carbocation. So after that, when it drop by water molecule, you will get cyclopropane methanol as a product. So because of the stability of cyclopropane methyl carbocation, and in this particular example, the product is 48% is isolated. Next, we move on the influence of stereochemistry and other factors on the rearrangement. For this, let's, con let's consider this example. So now you see this one is a bicyclic compound having aliphatic amine. This aliphatic amine is present at exo position. So this bicyclic forms having two phases. The above phases are exo. So this phase is called endo. So our aliphatic amine present at exo, when you treat the nitri uh, sodium nitrite and sulfuric acid, you will get unrearranged product. Let's consider another example. So the, this one also, again, bicyclic aliphatic primary amines. So here you see this aliphatic primary amine present at the end of position. So when you treat the same uh, reagent, like sodium nitride and sulfuric acid, here you will get two type of mixture of the products. So from the way we can easily understand the influence of stereochemistry and the other factors on the rearrangement. So let's break down the mechanism in order to get better understand. So when you treat the sodium nitride and sulfuric acid, so you will quickly get corresponding diazonium ion. This diazonium ion quickly lost as a nitrogen gas, you will get this corresponding carbocation intermediate. So now you see this carbocation intermediate readily trapped by this oxygen. Since this oxygen as well as this carbocation both are present at the exo phase. So this oxygen has two lone pair of electron that will readily participate by neighboring group participation that quickly attacks this carbocation center resulting that this will generate corresponding this type of intermediate. So after that water molecule attacks this carbon then followed by these electrons move towards to this oxygen center since oxygen is positive. Finally you will get the unrearranged alcohol as the product. So let's consider the endo case. So just like in our, our previous case, when you treat the sodium nitrate and sulfuric acid, you will get the corresponding diazonium ion. So here you see that will quickly lose the nitrogen gas, you will get the corresponding carbocation intermediate. So now you see this one present at the end of phase, here there, are, there is no opportunity to contribute the oxygen to drop this carbocation center. So therefore, here you see what happens in the next step. So this carbon atom, migrated towards to this carbocation center. So resulting that a ring expansion takes place. After the ring expansion, this will quickly react by water molecule that will quickly provide the corresponding alcohol as a product. So this one is rearranged alcohol. So here you see, I put the wavy bond that indicates that that water molecule can attack this carbocation center both endophase as well as exophase resulting that that will generate corresponding product as a mixture of isomer. So in this case, one more thing also is possible. 
So this bond, if it migrates to this carbocation center, you will get the stable carbocation center. This one is allyl type carbocation. So this allylic type carbocation is quite stable. So if it generates this, then that will quickly react by water molecule. You will get the corresponding rearranged alcohol as a product. So in this way, the stereochemistry as well as and other factors heavily influences in the outcome of the temgeno rearrangement products. Let's see some of uh, example for this temgeno rearrangement. So here you see cyclobutane methanamine. When you treat the nitrous acid, that quickly provide uh, rearranged product as minor. Since we already seen that cyclopropyl methyl carbocation is more stable one that will provide as a major product as cyclopropyl methanol as a major product. So this is another example. Here you see cyclopentane methane amine. When you treat nitrous acid, that will generate corresponding disonium ion. After that, that this will quickly uh, leave as a nitrogen gas and generate corresponding carbocation intermediate. Now this carbon atom migrated towards this carbocation center, resulting that ring expansion takes place. Then followed by drop by water molecule, you will get corresponding expansion expanded alcohol product as a major form. So this is the question from GATE 2013. So when you treat nitrous acid and aqueous acid, you will get quickly corresponding disonium ion. After get the disonium ion that will leave us a nitrogen gas, you will get this corresponding carbocation intermediate. So now this carbon migrated towards to this carbocation center, resulting that ring expansion takes place to generate corresponding carbocation intermediate, which readily trap by water molecule that provide corresponding alcohol derivative. So let's move on some more interesting problems. Let's take this complex uh, aliphatic primary amine containing steroidal framework. When you treat with sodium nitrate and acetic acid, so that will generate corresponding disonium ion readily. Then followed by loss of these nitrogen gas, you will get the corresponding carbocation center. So here there are two possibilities. So either this group also possible to migrate to this carbocation center and similarly this phenyl group also possible to migrate. However, in this particular case that phenyl group is migrate towards to this carbocation center. So this can be easily visualized by these conformational forms. So this phenyl group exactly present at the antiperiplanar position. So for that reason, in this particular case, uh, that phenyl group is migrated towards to this carbocation center resulting that ring expansion takes place. So after that, this will readily drop by water molecule you will get the corresponding alcohol as your product. Here, another important point we should note that this water attacks this carbocation by stereo selectively in from the bottom phase. So this can be easily visualized by 3D animated picture in our next slide. So this one uh, happened because of this methyl group here you see that methyl group highly seen that in the top phase for that reason our water approach this carbocation center uh, in uh, from bottom phase resulting that you will get the corresponding product we have x ray crystal structure of that final compound now you see this one is a hydroxy group this hydroxy group coming from water that means that that water attacked by this carbocation center by bottom phase since the top phase is highly sterically crowded let's see the this above top phase here the top phase contains the methyl group that somewhat restricted to approach water into this corresponding carbocation so for that reason that water is selectively react from bottom phase to result to provide that corresponding product as stereo selectively. Just if we see that series of problems based on ring expansion. So this is the problem for ring contraction. So let's take this example when you treat by sodium nitride and acetic acid. So that will generate corresponding disonium ion that quickly loss as a nitrogen gas, you will get this corresponding carbocation center. So this carbon exactly present at the antiperiplanar position then followed by that ring contraction takes place, you will get this corresponding carbocation center. 
which readily react by water molecule you will get the corresponding alcohol as the product so this is our final example in our previous case we seen that mostly one alkyl shift and followed by dropping carbocation by water to give rearranged alcohol but in this particular case two alkyl shift takes place sequentially to give the final rearranged alcohol product let's see magnetically how this reaction is occurred when you treat sodium nitrate and acetic acid with water this compound quickly provide corresponding diazonium ion which quickly losses a nitrogen gas you will get uh, this corresponding carbocation so now you see i put different color this bond this bond going to migrate to this carbocation center resulting that you will get this carbocation after generate this carbocation so one more alkyl shift is takes place now you see this bond migrate to this carbocation center resulting that you will get new carbocation which readily drop by water molecule you will get the corresponding alcohol as a product so this unusual temgeno rearrangement can be explained by the relative stability of this final product so here are the some practice problems when you get the free time you just to work it out and remember practice is a key for mastering organic chemistry as we conclude our journey into temgeno rearrangement i hope this video has expanded your understanding of this interesting rearrangement so these all are my references if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like share and subscribe for more engaging content until next time bye bye